Now, chow mein typically uses normal noodles, but I'm a nutritionist and I'm always trying to find sneaky ways of getting more vegetables in your diet. I was actually looking forward to some chow mein noodles. I love them. They're nice and thin and yellow and, and they <laughs> fill you up and give you lots of uh, satisfaction. Well, if you like colour and you like the colour yellow, then you are going to absolutely adore this. This is such a great one for adults, children, because it's so colourful. And where colour comes, comes nutrition, because it means lots of antioxidants. So I'm going to use my trusty spiralizer now. I've taken on the big boy here. So this is a really industrial one. So what I'm going to do is I have parsnip, carrot, and zucchini, and I'm going to spiralize them. And you might be like, Rosie, I've never spiralized a parsnip. Well, that's okay. This is what it's all about. Cooking is about experimenting. Now, this is absolutely delicious spiralizing. It just needs a little flash fry. So I think we get on, start with the parsnip, we'll go with the carrot, then the zucchini, and then we'll start stir frying. I suppose it's the first time for everything, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. I'll pop that on. On, goes on we go with that. Nice pressure. lot of pressure. Off we go. This wasn't enough colour. I would love you to just do some red cabbage and then just split those lovely snow peas in half. So what I've got here is a beautiful non-stick wok. Now, if I can recommend anything, is to invest in one of these. And you know it's ready when the thermospot goes a solid red. So even the novice cook knows exactly what to do. Because it's non-stick, you don't need much oil either. So I've just got some lovely zucchini. We'll put some parsnip. Now, of course, you could do it this just for one portion or you could just do it for a whole family as well. Some carrot, now you'll notice that a lot of this is quite long and you'll notice this when you eat it as well. So what you can do is just chop a few so that you haven't got very, very long strands. So I've got some good extra virgin olive oil. Like I said, you don't need much with a good non-stick pan. We'll add a few more of the lovely zucchini in there. And you just want to cook those veggies really quickly, don't you? Just they to keep don't them need long and we want to just keep that nutrition in there as well. We want to retain it. So we've got some of that lovely red cabbage. There we go. So enough some of those green beans. Yes, that's perfect. Now you'll notice this is a vegan dish and the way that we get our protein you will see it's from our edamame beans here. Now, that's a young soybean, and it's a complete protein, which is exactly what we want. So we'll add that, adding even more colour and fibre as well. And I have some soy sauce, some sesame, and a little bit of hot sauce as well. And what I'm going to get you to do is microplane some ginger and garlic yep. into there. Another way of getting some delicious superfood into your body. Would you just look at that colour? That's come out really well. I love the flavour of that already. That's beautiful, isn't it? And we just want you to mix that up with the fork, and I want you to just toss that one in here, Adrian. Squirt that out there. That's it. You want some more soy in there? That's it. And if you don't like spice, you don't have to have that hot sauce in there. But of course, we like spice, don't we? We do. Speeds up the metabolism. We don't mind a bit of that. So what I'm going to do is just add that sauce into the stir fry there. Nice. Only needs about one to two minutes, just so it can kiss all those lovely ingredients. Divine. Looks good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to serve some up and let it just chill out while we make this one. So if you grab the hammer there as well as that jar. Yeah. And smash the here. jar over the... Uh, yeah, jar. you'd think so, but no, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Because, of course, stir fries are meant to be very, very quick. And at the end of a busy day, you don't want to be going in your pantry trying to find everything. So I'm going to show you a bit of a stir fry mix to add to the nutritional profile, especially if you are vegan. So what I want you to do is smash those cashews to so some good fats. I've got some shallots and dried shallots in there. Some sesame seeds in there as well. Some chili flakes. Now, you don't have to have these if you don't want to, but of course we love them. And nutritional yeast. So I've got some beautiful B12 and things like that in there as well. And I want those cashews in Is there. Is that, that what you want? That's beautiful. I can just imagine all those vegans smashing out their frustrations with a hammer on the nuts. There we go. <laughs> It's about the only thing they can harm, isn't it? So all I want you to do is mix this up. And now you can put that on the shelf, and that's your little stir-fry topper mix, all nice ready like to go like that. What we're going to do, of course, is just put that all over the top there. We have just put so much more nutrition into an already extremely, incredibly healthy dish. But it's just about making things work for Beautiful. you. If you've got a big schedule, you know, you need these things to, just at hand so you can grab them and go. Look at that lovely colour. Hmm. Mm. That chilli's really hot. It mm. just hit me. Um, it's really hot, but it's really, really tasty. I love all the noodles in there. I like the way, maybe if you're gluten-free and you can't have regular noodles, this is a great way, a great alternative. It's a great little dish. 
Me, I would like some meat in there, maybe some fish or some prawns, but I think it's a cracker. It's got lots and lots of flavour. You could definitely add whatever protein that you want in there, but for me, I could eat this every single night and I know that I am getting my nutrition fixed.